I am an aircraft engineer and uh, I love aircraft. IHI is developing the electrified uh, technologies. And by implementing that, uh, we would like to get him back. The flight is a much more good thing for the world. The aviation industry currently faces a time of great upheaval. Specialized agencies of the United Nations set a goal to achieve net zero CO2 emissions in international flights by 2050. As a big step towards achieving this goal, new aircraft equipped with electrification systems are expected to emerge around the mid-2030s. IHI is a jet engine manufacturer that is currently aiming to break into the market for electrification systems to realize an overall carbon solution for aircraft. Around 2010, uh, we've started the electrification technology development a program. We've soon we've recognized that only changing one system uh, from the mechanical system to the electrified system that will not uh, provide so much benefit. We've recognized that the integration uh, of the system, so adjusting to the to the system to the system. Uh, that will be much more important. This is how IHI arrived at the ideal solution for the total energy management of aircraft. Total energy management involves the appropriate management of heat, air, and so on, flowing inside aircraft to enhance its energy efficiency in aiming to reduce CO2 emissions. The key lies in technologies for self-generation of electricity and its efficient use. The self-generation of electricity requires a high-output, high-efficiency generator. IHI developed the world's first jet engine-embedded electric machine in 2020. Then the company succeeded in achieving megawatt-class power generation in 2023. The issue was heat resistance. It was believed to be impossible to place a generator at the rear end of a jet engine due to its exposure to ultra-high temperatures during flight. However, it is an ideal location for maintenance and IHI is striving to improve the heat resistance of generators in preparation for better operability in the future. Also, current technology level, you can buy the generators that only can withstand around 180 degrees Celsius, we are targeting the 300 degrees Celsius heat resistant uh, generators. So it's a big challenge we are developing and now uh, we are testing the generator. Another issue was the efficient use of electricity. Electricity gives off heat this heat was discharged until now, but efforts will be made to try and achieve the ultimate efficiency by using this energy for air conditioning the cabin and cooling control equipment. This leverages the turbocharger technology that IHI has been developing for automobiles over the years. We had the idea to manage that uh, with the uh, so turbocharger technologies from the automobile industries to managing the compressed air and also to managing, recovering the waste energy from the waste air. Using this technology in aircraft with stringent weight restrictions necessitated reductions in size and weight. But downsizing the motor meant it required ultra-fast rotation, increasing the stress on parts supporting the shaft. IHI overcame both the issues in ultra-fast rotation and weight reduction by adopting a method of using air with minimal resistance to support the shaft. IHI's strengths in aircraft total energy management lie in technologies for high heat-resistant generators and compact, ultra-high-speed rotating motors. The challenge lies in how much these technologies can be honed over four to five years as we head toward the period of aircraft transition in the mid-2030s.
we are now doing the component testing of our important two components. We understand the demonstration with the system level, including the flight testing or engine testing, will be required. And we are now uh, trying to do that. IHI will continue to seek new challenges. And that passion will build a new tomorrow. Through total energy management, taking on the challenges of carbon neutrality in the aviation industry.